tip it in! Tip him in! Straight into the mix! Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives! <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be making a chia pudding. A maraca chia pudding. Maraca chia pudding. So, everything in this video is going to be completely healthy, completely vegan. And also I'm going to be talking about in this video how you can go vegan while I'm making the meal. Why not educate while I'll entertain? So first of all, you need your chia seeds. In this video, obviously, I'm going to be doing the one minute meal. Because I'm a one minute meal man. So you're going to have to bear with. Hopefully it makes you laugh, I don't know, that's the goal. If, if it can make you laugh, if it can entertain you, then that's what I want to do. I need to work out exactly what I need. So, I need, I need, I need, I need. Chia seeds. Almond milk. Vegan protein powder. 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 I think that's it. Oh, and someone asked me to ninja my nana, so I'm going to put nani on top. We'll put that on. Perfectly right. <laughs> Cause it's chocolate protein blend. Right, so obviously we're starting the one minute meal, you've got you got to start it and it's got to be quite snappy and start by the face. One minute meal! One minute meal! Gets me every time. I don't know where I came up with it, but Um, here we go, here we go, so, this is it, yeah, it's very, it's very, very simple, but not only is it simple, it's very, very healthy, because there's nothing in it, it's almond milk, low sugar, low fat protein, chia seeds and banana, it's literally, it's a healthy snack, but it tastes like chocolate, so obviously if, if you've got a chocolate one, I mean, you can get whatever protein powder you want, I prefer chocolate, I don't really like any other protein powder, I need to get my berries. That is really not. Going vegan is a lot easier than you think. Going vegan, I thought it was very hard. Now, I used to be one of those people who I ate meat every single day. I literally ate meat two or three times a day. I tell, yeah, I literally have it with breakfast sometimes, not all the time. But, so for me to go vegan was near to impossible, I thought. So originally, I tried to do it, like I went cold turkey, if you pardon the pun. <laughs> Um, I would try to go cold turkey and go eating meat every single day for the like the past 20, oh, how old was I? 20 years of my life or something, to then going for one week without meat and that was near to impossible. I couldn't do it, it wasn't possible for me to do because I was used to eating meat and we're used to what we're told. So if you think about it, if you have been told your whole life that bananas are green, when someone tells you they're yellow, you're going to be like, no, they're green. If you've never seen one before, or you've only ever seen a, a new banana, you're going to believe they're green. If you've never seen a ripe banana, you're never going to believe that they're yellow. Now, neither of you are wrong. It's a perception. So green bananas do exist. Yellow bananas do exist. Brown bananas exist. If you don't see them, you never believe it. So you've essentially got to see it to believe it. There's those different ways which you can understand it, but that's the first step. So... I tried this and I tried it for one week and it was near to impossible, I couldn't do it. By the end of week six, I was like, or oh, day six, I, oh no, day four, I was like, I just wanted Nando's, I just wanted Nando's. I was getting all upset because I just wanted Nando's because I wanted chicken. I thought I needed chicken. And now I do not need for it, I do not need for any type of meat, any animal products at all. And I've never been in better shape, I've never been healthier, I've never been happier. Plus, it's a nice diet to eat. It's actually really nice to eat. It's, it's, it's fresh foods, it's things like that. It's obviously if you just go just processed vegan, it's not gonna be good for you. But the more fresh foods, the more fruit, the more vegetables you can eat, the better. So the way that I did it is called progressive extremism. It's a very simple term to understand. It may sound scary, but it literally is just doing things slowly. If you were like, when I first started, I was awful at making it, creating habits, I just couldn't do it. So if you wanna find a very simple way to create habits, is just cutting things out slowly. So first of all, I started cutting out red meat. Then I started cutting out chicken. Luckily, I got food poisoning. You may not say, you might, might not sound lucky. I was literally throwing up if I drank some water when I was in Bali last year. But 
that made me feel like I don't even want chicken. The sight of chicken is disgusting to me. But again, you can rewire your mind. It's very simple to do. There's loads of different techniques that I use to do that uh, to rewire your mind as well. So what, what I did, obviously, it went red meat, no red meat. Then I started cutting out chicken. Then I started cutting out fish. Then I went to vegetarian. And then I went to vegan. But because I went too quick, I went back to vegetarian. And I had things with eggs in it. I had some butter. Actually, I prefer vegan butter, so I was still eating vegan butter. But then I started having things with eggs in it again. So Yorkshire puddings. Um, I put eggs in my pancake mix and things like that. But then I went to vegan again. And I've been vegan for probably nearly 10... No, more than that. Probably about a year. No, I'd say about 10 months now, or 7 months, I'm not sure exactly. Um, but I figured out you don't need eggs in pancakes. My pancakes come out perfectly. You don't need eggs in Yorkshire puddings. My Yorkshire puddings come out nice as well. There's not, you don't need for these animal products. If you want to have them, it's down to you. But the more we can cut out meat, and I know the younger generation are absolutely amazing, and they are the ones that are making a stand. Anyway, after that, I'm going to get back into the one minute meals because we got to do the one minute meal. Otherwise, we're not going really and good and good. Yeah. You see? Get your chia seeds and tip them in. Almond milk! Open it up. Make sure this thing's off. And tip it in! Ha ha ha! Beautiful! And get your vegan protein blend. The vegan protein blend, chocolate for preference, straight into the mix. If you want to go for two, go for two. Oh, that might be a lot of protein. I'm going to be all proteined out today, boy. And mix it up! See, I, sometimes, sometimes I mess up and I get mess everywhere and I forget to say something, so I've got to and mix it up. See, this is the thing you don't see in the videos. You don't see me messing up and having to add a little bit more of stuff because obviously I've only got a minute to film it and I'm just getting a call. It's my mum. Hello, mum. This has now turned into a complete chocolate mousse. I thought it was going to be more of a chia pudding, but it's a chia chocolate mudding. <laughs> it's a chocolate mudding, mate! <laughs> oh, I chose the smallest bowl to do this in. So chia seeds are very, very good for you. They are very high in fibre. They are high in protein. Well, this whole, this whole um, dish is, is high in fibre, high in protein, because obviously you're adding the protein powder as well as just the chia seeds. So you're completely increasing your protein intake as well as uh, the fiber as well, which is obviously very beneficial. And it contain, they, the chia seeds contain healthy fats, but you're obviously you've got your almond milk as well. So this is a very healthy, but when I've finished mixing it after I can, because it just keeps going everywhere, you can see what it looks like. And obviously you can get a different protein powder. I mean, you don't even need protein powder. You can just do it just chia, chia pudding, just with chia seeds and milk. Um, if you don't take protein powder, which not everyone does, but or you can find, I don't know, if you wanted to put a bit of hot chocolate mix in it, I'm sure you could do that. Obviously, the sugar would be a lot more in that, but in total, I mean, this looks absolutely lovely. I'm not going to lie. Even if I do say so myself. Look at that. Look. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. But, yeah, even if you wanted to have hot chocolate with it, you'd still get the benefits of the chia seeds, of the almond milk. you just have a bit of sugar in it. Which, at the end of the day, if you're living and eating a balanced diet, it doesn't really matter. It's when you start to eat. Use the rule 80-20. If 80% of the time you eat healthy, 20% of the time you can eat whatever you want. Really, within reason. School of Max! Man, that looks awesome. 
No one is ever allowed to tell you that you can't be happy because you have the choice to be happy. If they don't want you to be happy, that's their problem. You choose in, your, in yourself that I can be happy. When I had nothing, when I was broke, when I was broken, when I was anxious, when I was depressed, I had to say to myself, I'm happy, even though I didn't believe it. Over time, I believed it and now I am so happy. So you deserve it and don't ever stop telling yourself how great you are. So I just love doing that bit. That's, that's my favorite thing. Oh, this looks so good. I should have definitely just done one scoop. That was not a smart move from me. Better from me next time, please, Max. And you mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it. It was a big scoop. Why did I even think two scoops was going to be great? Oh. Well, look. This is another lesson that you can learn today. Sometimes, what's happened, or, well, every time, what's happened in the past has happened. You can't physically change it, so worrying about it is never gonna help you. If you said something and you didn't mean it, apologize. If someone said something to you, understand that they might have said it in anger. They might have said it in sadness. So, don't let some, what someone else says make you value yourself because that's not how you are you are amazing remember that don't ever forget that but like i said it's happened what you have to do is figure a way to move on rather than worry about it i'm, I'm going to put it into a small bar so it looks pretty mm -mm. after you mix it up plop it in to your bowl oh you know what i'm gonna make this look pretty oh yeah you know what time it is Time to ninja that now. Oh, get your nana! Oh no, I smashed nana. Sorry, I'm just going nanas. <laughs> ninja that nana! Oh, oh my god! Perfect cut. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it that way. I might put some strawberries in it as well. Why not? Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Juggle your strawberries and stick them in. So yeah, going vegan is much easier than you think. It's just the initial, it's like with anything. When you start anything, when you started learning to ride a bike, when you started to learn the alphabet, when you started to learn whatever you're doing right now, whether it's your job, whether it's learning how to drive a car, you learn things repeti re repetitively. So the more you can do it, the easier it will become. So don't, don't start off training like an athlete, like a pro athlete. It's like if you went to the gym. If you've never been to the gym in your life before, going to the gym three times or twice a day for two hours at a time and only drinking protein shakes and eating salads isn't sustainable. Oh, but look at that. See what I mean? It really is simple to make very healthy food. Okay, so the camera cut out, and I don't know where it cut out. So, yeah. But anyway, that is a very healthy meal. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I hope you are gonna subscribe. I hope you're gonna tell your friends. I hope you're gonna eat healthy. I hope you're gonna have an amazing day. And remember, you're amazing. You're blessed. You can do anything. Keep smiling. Keep spreading love and keep spreading Positivity, you amazing people.